India is a country of temples, and in 2022, it had about 650,000 Hindu temples spread throughout the country. They are an enormously important part of the country's history and heritage, and Hinduism is very prevalent. Tourists travel from all over the globe to see the temples, and many are very famous, including the Somnath Temple, the Golden Temple, the Shore Temple, and the Brihadishwara Temple. It's thought there are over a billion Hindus currently living in India, meaning that places of worship are immensely important here. This country is known for its rich, deep culture, and this is something that sets them apart from many other countries. Some of its temples are ancient, a legacy of a time gone past, and many of their walls are engraved with historical archives that are unique in the world. In this kind of setting, it's hard to imagine how a new temple could stand out. But Virat Ramayan Mandir is going to. The temple complex will be located in the East Champaran district, Bihar, India. It will stand around 120 kilometers from Patna and could become an icon for the whole area. The site was apparently once visited by both Lakshman and Ram, meaning it holds religious significance for many. The temple complex will have enough room to seat 20,000 individuals in the main internal temple. And when it's completed, it will be the largest religious monument in the world. It will provide thousands of Hindi people in the area with the space to worship and find peace, and is likely to also bring in a large number of tourists interested in seeing the temple. It will serve the East Champaran district of Bihar, which is one of the poorest areas in India, so the increased tourism could prove beneficial. Indeed, the organization responsible for the temple's construction says that the main purpose of the project is to provide jobs for locals and increase tourism. The plan was initially unveiled sometime around 2012, with the intention being to start construction in 2015. But unfortunately, there was a strong objection by the Cambodian government at the time, as they claimed that the temple held too many similarities with their Angkor Wat temple from the 12th century, which is currently a UNESCO World Heritage Site. They insisted that the Indian government step in and prevent the construction of the temple which they called a replica of the Angkor Wat. The Angkor Wat temple is an 800-year-old structure located in Angkor, and according to the Guinness World Records, it's the largest religious structure in the world at present, a title which will be usurped by the Kirat Ramayan Mandir upon its completion. It should be noted that the Angkor Wat was Cambodia's most popular tourist destination at this time, and it remains extremely popular. It was necessary for the Indian government to change the temple's proposed name, which was originally the Virat Angkor Wat Ram Mandir. Other issues had to be ironed out, with meetings taking place between the Indian ministries of external affairs and culture and Cambodian officers. Although there are no official rules stating that religious sites can't be replicas, the Indian government said that it respected Cambodia's concerns and insisted that the proposed temple was very different from the Angkor Wat in numerous ways, including its size, height, deities, design, etc. It will be significantly more modern than the ancient Angkor Wat. It took over five years to settle this dispute, which is part of the reason this project was so delayed from 2012. Some challenges also arose in acquiring the land necessary for the temple's construction. The trust responsible for building the temple had to deal with many locals and convince them to sell their land. Around a quarter of the land needed for the temple site was donated, with much of that coming from Muslims as well as from Hindus. There's a projected completion date of 2025, but construction on the site only started in mid-2023, so it's still in its fairly early stages. And for such an ambitious project, there's a chance of delays occurring. According to the plans, the first phase of construction was scheduled for completion by November 2023, and this involved worshipping at the construction site followed by the work on the building's foundation. The project is being undertaken by the Mahavir Mandir Trust, which is funding the project at an estimated cost of $78 million. The trust is paying for construction materials, but is also depending on donations to fund the temple. The trust is currently made up of 11 members and is registered under the Bihar Hindu Religious Trust Act 1950. The trust secretary, Kishore Kunal, has been heavily involved in the project both as a spokesperson and in laying the foundation stone of the temple when construction began. In 2015, it was estimated that the land costs alone had already come to approximately $785,000. But some land was donated, and many devotees are putting money toward the project's creation as well. 
Originally, the plan was to build the temple near Kesaria, but the land was allocated to the Mahivya Mandir Trust in East Champaran, and the original location was abandoned as a result. The construction is highly ambitious and is likely to face multiple challenges before its completion. The temple complex is to be built of red sandstone, but no estimates have been given as to how much will be required. It should also be noted that the temple's planned site stands near the Nepal border in a dangerous zone for earthquakes, so it must be built to withstand them. It will follow all the guidelines for a seismic zone V. It will cover more than 120 acres of land, and the construction will be about 123 meters tall. There's some dispute over the number of spires, with some estimates as low as 9, and others ranging as high as 18. When finished, it will stand about double the height of the Angkor Wat Temple. It will be 850 meters long and 430 meters wide. Revisions to the plans indicate that the trust has focused on longevity. Although originally they aimed for 100 years longevity, this has now been updated to a target of 250 years. The temple's design and architecture are said to have been inspired by three other temples. This unsurprisingly includes the Angkor Wat in Cambodia, but it also takes aspects from the Meenakshi Sundareshwara Temple in Maudurai and the Ramanthwaswami Temple in Rameshwaram. Plans suggested that the construction team would work on the Shiva Temple first, although no updates have been made since construction started in 2023. Another 21 temples will be completed, and the complex will have multiple layers, making it three stories high. The main Rama temple will be 66 feet tall with enough seating for 20,000 worshippers all at once. Estimates vary, but it's suggested that there will be 13 domes in total. The building will also incorporate an educational institution known as a Gurukul, an ashram, a guest house, and more. It will also have the largest shivling in the world, which is to be in the Shiva temple. This will be about 33 feet high and 33 feet wide, and it is also under construction already. Even transporting this to the temple from its construction site at Mahabali Param is a challenge, as it's being shaped out of a 250-ton black granite rock. As a result, the Trust has asked the Road Construction Minister, Tejashwi Prasad Yadav, and the Bihar Chief Minister, Nitish Kumar, to improve the road that leads to the construction site so that the shivling can be transported smoothly and safely. As it weighs over 200 tons, this shoring up of the roads could prove vital. There will also be a Shahastra shivling constructed, and these have not been built in India since the 8th century, making this a historic landmark. There are unsurprisingly many different companies involved in the construction works, including those who were previously part of the famous Central Vista project in New Delhi. The previous Director General of the Central Public Works Department has already been made a Chief Advisor in one aspect of the project. SunTech Infra has been assigned to the construction work and has stated that there will be over 3,000 pillars and that the temple will require over 1,000 tons of steel plus 15,000 cubic meters of concrete for its foundations alone. There is little other information at present regarding how construction will go forward and what methods will be used to create this record-breaking temple. Few issues have been raised regarding its environmental impact, despite the fact that it sits on a 190-acre site. There are some concerns that the government, to an extent, has ignored this area in favor of building the temple, but it's not clear what environmental reports have been made and what the results of those are. The Trust Secretary has simply said that they have clearance from the Union Ministry of Environment, Forests and Climate Change, as well as the Ministry of Civil Aviation. If steps have been taken to mitigate the environmental impact of the construction, these haven't been publicized. The temple could bring enormous benefits to India, however, and especially to the local area. It's not clear how many jobs could be generated by this temple's construction, but with 22 internal temples and around 120 acres of land that will require upkeep, there's no question that it will generate work for the local community. It has attracted some informal criticism, as people wonder whether the money could have been better spent on maintaining existing temples, but many people are positive about its potential. Additionally, with Angkor Wat pulling in almost 2.6 million tourists each year, it's easy to imagine that this could have an enormously positive impact on the economy in the local area, and perhaps also on a national level. India saw a sharp drop in tourism during the pandemic, and the creation of the largest temple on the planet could be an opportunity to regain footfall, bringing more money into the country and potentially bolstering other tourist sites too. This could be transformative for the region and possibly for the country, especially if the Virat Ramayan Mandir achieves recognition from the Guinness World Records. 
and potentially from other official bodies too. Of course, it's important to recognize that this is an enormous project that has been heavily dependent on donations. And although the project is now underway, it's not clear if all the necessary finances have been obtained. However, the temple will become a site of great spiritual meaning when completed allowing worshippers in the region to come together to share in their faith, as well as representing a global landmark of record proportions. Excited for more construction wonders? Click the video on your screen to unravel the most remarkable upcoming record-breaking construction across the globe. See you there!